the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. It's interesting that you have that discussion. Let me just let me just ask you to do something. So, did you look up the word from the phone? I did not look up the. I, I stayed. I stayed within a plane. I did not go into a deeper. Uh, no, I did not. Let me let me just cut you off. So, so when we do these um, these uh, CIT. Uh -huh. It's going to be important for you to do what? A lot of legwork. A lot of legwork. So, for example, if you don't look up the word from your phone, you probably would have had a good idea of exactly what he's talking about. Okay. Okay. And let's, uh, now, the only, only question about that, uh, Bishop was that to stay within the, the text soul is not mentioned so i was i was trying to what's stay not, huh what's not mentioned i don't think it is let me go check i'm gonna go i know mark doesn't i'm saying with the one through nine is there soul in, there's no word soul in the in that parable let's no. try the other one well, that, that indicates that there is some unreadiness uh, sitting now get into really getting into the, the, the essence of what is being taught. Right. So, so and that's what, yeah. how, how do you reconcile soul and heart and spirit? And, and the only and I, and I uh, did Bishop want to answer as we want to answer that or Jack Brother Jackson because I, I I do have an I, answer. I don't want anybody answering. What I'm saying is, you're going to need to reconcile that. Yeah, and and Bishop, the only thing when I was talking about reconciling was that is when he explained it down in the uh, ten through twenty. So so in scripture. Uh, you're going to often find that people are referred to as soul. You're going to often see that inwardly it is talking about, when you look inwardly, it often talks about the heart. Right. And that sometimes it talks about uh, the spirit, the particularly the the regenerated or born again spirit of men. Uh -huh. Amen. But, but in any case, whenever you're talking about the kingdom, uh, those people are sometimes referred to as saints. But I think the thing that is important is that scripturally, the text seems to want to distinguish between the inner man uh -huh. and and yeah. uh, and that which the scripture call the flesh. Yeah. Uh, the flesh encompasses the whole person. <laughs> inner and outer. But it's 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 looking at him from an, <clears throat> an unregenerate state. So I don't get I don't get caught up when I when I read these um these parables when it uh -huh. comes out of the kingdom because I understand that the kingdom is going to require citizens, yeah, right. or subjects, right? And only people who have been born again can participate in that kingdom. You know, this 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 parable is talking about how that kingdom is going to come, how it is going to flourish, and how it's going to increase. 
so that what started out with one seed, now, now, now seed has a different meaning. Because when, right. you go to, when you go to Romans chapter 9, it says that Isaac was not Abraham's seed. Right. Jesus is referring to himself. And all these things come into play. That's why you got to have, that's why once you do a CIT seed, it, it, that truth has to not align with all the other truths there in the Bible. Jesus no, said in John, in John chapter 12. Right, I thought we, I thought we were restricted. That one was free, was kind of. No, you, are, no. you are restricted to the text to get the truth of that text. But once you have the truth of that text, the truth of that text has to be in harmony with all the other truths in the Bible. Right, that's the, purpose of, that's the purpose of doing the CRT. Right. So Jesus, Jesus said of himself, except a grain of corn or a grain of wheat or whatever whatever he said, he said except a grain of corn fall to the ground and die in the body alone. But if it die, it brings forth more fruit. Yeah, and it brings forth more fruit. And and so in the context of the parable, in that context, he's he's not talking about love, joy, peace, or any of those things. Right. He's talking about more of his kind. Right. Thank you. But in this case, he's talking about more sons. And that's that's truly the advance the advance of the kingdom. The kingdom is acquisition of souls. Uh but those souls have a seed in them. And I think that it's really funny because it said the seed that the fruit produces at this time. But the yes. seed that's within the fruit is what causes the fruit to be produced in the first place. Yes. So, so it's like we get something that causes us to become something that causes us to cause other folks to become something. Because they partake, in a sense, I mean, the fruit is going to produce out this kind. But where does right. the pattern for the fruit come? It comes from the seed that's within the fruit. Yeah. So it's like, we, when we talk in terms of, of um, the first fruits that we're going to see are going to be as a result of the seed that was planted. And those fruits are going to be in us. We're going to manifest those fruit. Right. And as a result of that, we are going to inspire others to reward the same process. Yeah, and I noticed that. You know what's really funny is, whoa, you know what's weird? You know what? So there ain't but one seed. There's only one seed. There's only it, one seed, and that seed is who? It's Jesus. Right. Jesus right. is the seed. The, the, the single seed is the Lord. And you know, he referred to that the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. And he's the one that actually produces the fruit. Exactly. In us. And, and, in and, us and us. And see here, when we go to John 15. Hallelujah. And Brother Jackson is, is here, is it that he said, I am the vine, I am the true vine, and my father's a husbandman. Every branch in me that bears not fruit. He take us away. Yeah. And every branch that bears fruit, so it, it, there's a there's an implication of individuals and in what they bear. Well, 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 the fruit of the spirit, which him being in you, him being that seed, should produce a certain fruit in you, and then you being having the fruit produced in you should inspire others to become fruit as well, I guess, by partaking of that seed. Right. And I guess what we're saying is though is that the the individual, that's mm -hmm. what we're talking we're talking about the whether the spiritual growth is the 30, 60, 100. Not the Well can I go ahead. May I interject just a thought? Yes sir. Well is it as as I understand the text, and I and I've heard, I think, an understanding of the conversation as it's pertaining to souls, yeah, or some other aspect, and that's kind of my perspective in which I'm going to speak now. I think that uh, the text talking about, and I really believe in my heart that it was talking about the kingdom of God, because that's kind of the whole thing that Jesus preached was the kingdom of God, which is a form of government and understanding this new form of government that has entered the earth. And, the, and, the, and he sold the word. And I, my mind, and I may be wrong, the word of the kingdom. 
that's that's how I'm looking at the so and so the word of the kingdom. And so as we talk about it, oftentimes how Bishop would say that I don't want this, I want that. I think the understanding of the word of the kingdom and as we process that and understand it, then we'll begin to produce fruit in that kingdom at certain levels. So certain things that we see in the New Testament, we'll begin to live out that in our own personal lives at certain extents. It extents if we if we ascertain this this government in our heart and it will produce fruit. I don't necessarily see it as it's talking about souls or hundred percent of everybody. I see it as as it as it as it affects me and I I I, I partake of this word of the kingdom and I allow it to grow and become the predominant thoughts in my mind as it relates to this new form of government, then I'll be able to walk in it. In other words, in that the thing the things that I do shall you do also and greater things in these because I go to the Father. I think in my opinion, I feel it going toward that, not souls, because it's the word of the kingdom. It I, I didn't see it as the word of saving souls uh -huh. and 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 how many different people you're gonna bring into the kingdom i saw it as more of me of an understanding of a realization or ascertaining or oneness with this new form of government that has entered the earth because this whole this whole mindset is about the kingdom of god has come and he sows the word the word of the kingdom right and so, so you... as i as i as i take it in and that word is going to fall on different types of mindsets fruits yeah, mindset. understandings right and and some people are going to allow it to wow man i can actually cast out devil's rage i'm just yes. going to dismiss it it don't mean nothing to me yes. oh i know yes. so much about the world that is choking it and i could care less about that because that don't override what i see here smell think or touch or taste but some people say oh my god i can see this being spiritual and i really believe this and allow it to, to have such an effect on my life through the renewing of the mind that now i'm raising the dead i'm casting out devils yes, i'm actually yes. realizing this and not that i mean i don't know but that's just kind of that, that, well, that how it hit, hit. that's yeah. how it hit me yeah but well, yeah. that makes sense what you're saying is to me you're saying what like brother jackson was saying and, and i guess some of us are saying is that it's a it's a spiritual growth of, of the individual uh, coming into the kingdom, so so we we, we all agree on that the, the kingdom part. The the piece was that that hundredfold, sixtyfold, thirty is that sound like you said restating it too. What in just a different way was the spiritual growth of a person in the kingdom, or not necessarily in the kingdom, but the understanding of the kingdom and ascertaining heaven on earth in my right. life. Right. That at what level have I brought his kingdom and it's the most predominant mindset over this earthly world. Right. And which one is really ruling and reigning in my life? This right. or that. And depending on my soul or my mindset or how I partake it in, what effect is going to have on me as the fruit that I bear in that yeah. which he brought, which yeah. he brought and introduced the kingdom of God. Yeah. Uh, and that's just that's just the way I saw. I mean, well, that makes, I, I that could makes, be wrong. Well, that makes yeah. sense. I mean, I'm saying I, I, that makes sense. And I think what Brother Jackson was catching on too was the is it's, it's a it's a and I and I guess I start off saying is that the the bigger picture of the commission is to bring more people into the kingdom. That you know that's that's the is that's the commission to bring people into the kingdom. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, the kingdom of God is at hand. But as they come in, and as we come in, we 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 bearing, you know, our thing with John 15, where how much type of fruit are we bearing in the kingdom? And and in, in some cases, we come in as babes, right? I mean, most of us come in as babes and don't come in as mature saints. So the most of us, all of us, come in with the this 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 we have to grow you know and and that's why i think when we're talking about this this ground i'm thinking is that the aspect of our soul individually we have stony grounds 
we have thorns, you know, we have wayside. I guess the wayside is the soul itself to me. And stony but, black. Uh, let, let, let me interrupt all this and just kind of for the sake of time. <laughs> uh, that's all well and good. <laughs> that's all well and good. But how do you reconcile that with the kingdom of God? The kingdom of heaven is a man traveling to a far country who called his own servant and delivered unto them his goods. Amen. And he gave to everyone, he gave to every man that different capacities according to his ability. And he's expecting now them, them to produce according to what they got in them. So Amen. now we got, so now we get back to the 20 and the 40 and the 60 fold. I mean, I'm 60, 100 fold again. Oh, hold on, I'm not, I'm not finished yet. So, so then you go into John chapter 12. How do you reconcile that with Jesus when he talked about himself as being a seed that falls to the ground and that it left that seed died, it won't bring forth any fruit. Any fruit, though, right. But if it dies, it'll bring forth a hundredfold. Now, now, clearly in that case, he's referring to himself as the only begotten son. I'm the only seed. Yeah. 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 I'm the only son. If yeah. there are going to be more sons in the earth, they will come through this yes, process Jesus. of sowing and conception and death and resurrection that produces something. Yeah, now go back. What scripture is that? So we can go back to it so we can chew on that. John 12, that? 24. John 12. The one, about, the one about the kingdom of heaven is there's a man traveling to a far country. It's Matthew chapter 25, verse 14. Which one so, we want to stay with for a second because we got to chew it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to give you something to think about. Yeah, because you know, it, the word hundredfold, it simply means a hundred times. A hundred yeah, times, times over. Oh, a hundred times over. Yeah. A hundred times of the... Of, a hundred the, times over. Hundred it's times like... Of, so you got some that's producing 30 times over, some producing 60 times over, and some are producing a hundred times over. Yeah. yeah are, are you talking souls now? People coming to well, the kingdom? You, when you look up the word, it brings some clarity as to what he's talking about. Uh huh. Now you can't apply a hundred times to spiritual growth. Why can't you? I, I can't. Why can't you? Well, well can't. let me just can I, no, if, ahead, if, if I'm given an opportunity, I would say that I have several investments. It's not my total portfolio, but some of those investments are giving me thirty percent interest. Some of those investments are giving me 60% interest. Some of those investments I've doubled and I've gotten 100% interest. And I understand that as I appropriate the kingdom into my life and grow in this, how can they want what I got or come, unless they see something that draws them? So I'm not saying it's not all related. It's all part of the same. But 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 I don't think but I don't mm. think we got to look at it as stages and not as this it's one concept that it all just means souls. I think that obviously the elements brought together adds up to the whole. But mm -hmm. I think we can still see the parts as parts, even though they're part of the whole. And 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 that's kind of what I'm the perspective I'm coming from. Yeah. <laughs> so how many of you ever actually planted anything? I'm sorry. Okay. No, he, he, if you go he, out, I'm not if you planning. go out and plant a tomato seed, uh -huh. do you get one tomato back? No, but I don't get 100% on every one of them, though. Some of them, it all depends. They're pretty good. I may get 30%. I may get 6%. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. 30% of what? Of what I put in. In what other you, words, there is a, excuse me? The harvest, right? You said, that's how yeah, exactly. That's, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Well, well, see, I think the parable is quite clear. You but let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question because it lines up with the parable. Don't you think what I get back is going to be based on in the same planting thing, the same lines up? Mm -hmm. Where the seed fell, what type mm -hmm. of ground it was, what mm -hmm. kind of weather conditions was going on mm -hmm. is going to dictate whether I got 30, 60, or 100%. Mm -hmm. I mean it. I mean it aligns perfectly if you ask me because I think that the ground that those same seeds you're talking about we planted personally fell on mm -hmm. is going to have a an impact on the on the yield. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Okay. Well, well, if I read this correctly, then if 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 your if what you're saying 
is the truth of what Jesus is talking about. So how do you explain 30%? Well, how do I explain 30% in my opinion? Again, yeah, if I plant no, no, no. these... What I mean is this. Let me make sure you understand. So the seed falls on the ground. Yes, sir. And uh -huh. Jesus is looking for 30% growth? No. I didn't, say, I didn't say that's what he was looking for. The parable didn't say that what he was looking for. The parable said that's what it yielded. Yielded, yeah. And okay, it but yielded that, would, that, that, would mean, that would mean that it's the thing of God then. No, well... <laughs> I don't know whether it's ordained to God or not. The parable says some yield 60, yeah. some yield 90 or whatever, and some yield 100%. Regardless of, that's what the Bible said. I didn't that say that. Yeah, so yeah. That's, what that yeah. Bible, that's what the Bible said. So right. I got to take that and that's let's, what it yielded. Let's, 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 uh, well, let's, let's back it up one. And if we're looking at the seed that's being planted, the seed is Christ Jesus himself, right? Well, we yeah. know we, we know what we know in the it, just just a, let's make sure everybody stay in line, stay in line with this. With, with, yeah, we're, we're trying. Yeah. The 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 Bible the, the explanation Jesus gave is the sower, which is Jesus, Who so is the word. The word, which so is the, the word, seed. is the seed. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you I mean, that's be, what it says you gotta here. Be, you got to be careful now because. When you start talking about the word, yes, sir, you, you do understand that the scripture refers to Jesus himself as the word. As the word oh, yeah. Of course, yes. 100%. Yeah. 100%, yeah. yeah. So, so, so don't, don't, don't get caught up now. The only difference is, is that he is referred to as the living word. He is no the question. living word. No question yeah. about it. Okay, so, so I'm curious to hear what Brother Johnson had to say. We, 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 and, and, and along those same lines, uh, Jesus is actually what's being sown because we're preaching the kingdom. He yes. is the door to the kingdom. He is the king of the kingdom. He is he is the seed that produces the kingdom. Wow, that's deep, man. He yeah. is the king of personified. He He's the kingdom personified. So when we accept him, we actually accepting the seed that transforms us into the fruit. Right. Right. So, when we look at so when we're saying that we we take it and see or we're saying that we get 60 percent love no percent so when we talk about He's saying this. when we're talking about then when we're saying 60 30 what, what are we specifically talking about if it's not quantifying what are we talking about quality wise and are we talking about fruits of the spirit because jesus literally transforms us through that what's in us the spirit in him transformed us into his sons i mean to god's son and, and, and before it very interrupts on here too uh bishop was when i when i like, like i said when i was looking all at the parables and in the parables there's these these look at five no five there's areas that the seed the word christ fell on wayside stony ground among thorns and good ground and and take it back to the the concept of the parable i when you said about the tomato oh. but when you talked about the tomato the when when i you jimmy or somebody plants a garden the garden is one garden inside the garden yields how many tomatoes? I get a thirty percent of the crop was. Oh, we're was talking about we're talking, talking about the whole garden. We're talking about the, the seed that we're talking about the seed that but, fell on the particular kind of ground. Yeah, but, but, but it's, I think it's, but I think it's important though if we're talking about you you can't separate the ground from the seed. And the question is, a, a farmer does not plant one seed in a garden. Of course he right. does. He plant, we plant some one seed at a time. If he plant, how he does it. Is the individual seed that matters, right? Yeah, but if there is but, no seed, there is no production. Yeah, but the question is to stay within the context of the parable. Is when you said if we say 60, 30, 60, 100, who's supposed to what? What is that quantifying dealing with? I mean, if it if, if we're talking about souls, then how do how do I quantify? You talking about each individual when they come into the kingdom is supposed really? to to help help because look. No, let, me, no, let me give you a good example. Let me give you a, a plain, simple example. Go ahead. 
You look at the 12 apostles. Apostle. Mm -hmm. You look at Paul. In terms of in terms of bringing, expanding the kingdom, increasing the kingdom through the preaching, through the teaching, through the living, through all that is necessary. Do you see a difference in the lives of those men? I can, I can, I'm gonna answer that real quickly. And I see Paul. If I use Paul as far as bringing people to the kingdom, I cannot use the term 60, 30, or 100 because Paul is in a range of thousands. So he's no, going to no, pass 100%. No, no, no. no. See, now you're trying to, the, the parable isn't telling you to interpret the thing literally. Okay. He's telling you that each unique kind of conception is going to bring about a certain kind of multiplicity in terms of in terms of yield. Massing, right, right, multiplication. And what I'm telling you is, when you start looking at the lives of people, right. I got a buddy right here in Warner Robin, who is an evangelist, a real right. one, not one of them, not one of the ones that we produce inside of walls that don't do anything. That's been to over 50 different nations. Yes, sir. If you ever hear him preach, you recognize that God has given him something that enables him to be very fruitful in terms of expanding the kingdom through the preaching of the gospel. I'm talking about when you hear him, you recognize that's different. He's preaching Jews. So what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, all of us, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All of us have Hallelujah. to decide how how much we're going to, to invest or surrender to the kingdom. That is why I keep telling you about that song that says, I surrender all. I, I have, see, yes, it's sir. your all that God needs, and, and your all will determine a certain kind of yield. But according you know, to how God has fashioned them from you, it I, won't be the same as mine. I, or it I, won't I, be the same as Paul. Or it won't be the same as the evangelist. But what matters is, is that God can get out of me all that he possibly can get out of me, which means that he needs my all. And that, and the question is two, two folds to that. First of all, Use an example. You remember Billy Graham, an evangelist, went around in the South. You know the story. I think everybody heard the story. Solomon, I think his name was Solomon something. And he was not very successful being an evangelist. But he went to South Carolina, North Carolina, wherever Billy Graham is from. And he wrote in his journal, uh, he did not have a, if you want to go in that term, fruitful evangelist. Well, he only got one person saved on one session, and his name was William Graham. Now, William Graham, you know who he is. Billy Graham. Graham. He yeah. produced, he, you know, how many people you want to credit him for bringing into the kingdom? Hey, man, this is the greatest pyramid scheme we ever had. So, 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 Lee, I have a question. Go ahead, Lee, I have a question for you. Explain to me the 34 as it relates to the 60. As okay. relates to the hundred. Right. If you look at the word 30 fold, it simply means 30 times. Okay, so why wasn't it a hundred times? A hundred times. It was only 30 though. Why wasn't it a hundred? I guess I'm trying to figure out why did some 30, some 60, some a hundred? What was the difference? Right. I don't know. What what I, made that, the difference? That seems to be a that seems to be a matter to me of the problem that we have in the church. Well, that it seems us, oh, some of Okay, us, you I'm sorry are unwilling to surrender all. That's amazing. So in my opinion, when we go back to the text, I I I I I I I I I I I I don't know, but and then this may be me adding some stuff in and I apologize for that. In that there was different types of grounds and I believe because I have farm, uh -huh. even in the good, even in the good ground, there was a few stones. Right. There was a there was a few thorns. Mm -hmm. there, 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 were, there was some other stuff that, that could have had an effect yeah. on the production of the or the reproduction of the seed. It wasn't right. that it was on bad ground. It was good ground, but even on that good ground there was some areas or there was some things or there right. was some aspects of it that still would have had an effect on my yield. 